Welcome back to Illustrious Shadows Plans. It's Nat here again with another video. Today I thought since my last video on my notes pages had gone down so well, I'd show you what I did in my notes pages the last two years that I've had a home in few weeks. First of all, I just wanted to address that on the last couple of videos I've put up that have had backing music on them, some people have very kindly commented and told me that they can't hear my um, audio very well and that the music is interfering or making it hard for them to enjoy the video. So for this video and the next couple of videos there won't be any backing music until I can figure out how to sort out the levels and make it work because when I edit these videos and I put the backing music on, in the program that I'm using it sounds absolutely fine and you can hear what I'm saying quite clearly and the backing music is down to like 10% and the audio that I'm saying is at like 120% so it shouldn't be that difficult to hear me but I hear what you're saying so I will look into how I can make that better. And also I want to try and find some backing music that I prefer, so I don't really like the music that I've been using, so I want to just take some time to look into music that sounds a bit better to me. Also with this, the week's pages in my 2024 diary are much more complete than the ones in my last two diaries, but I just wanted to show you what kind of things I've been doing and maybe give you some ideas of spreads that you can use yourself. So first of all I'll just quickly flip through the 2024 diary. If you haven't watched the full video I will link it up in the top corner but if you haven't and you don't have time or you don't want to watch that I'll just give you a quick very quick flip through. So starting at the front I've got my vision board and then I've got my 2024 reading goal tracker my bookshelf and my reading tracker itself, my 2024 goals and my YouTube stats tracker, a little bit of space for my book reviews, I'm doing a low spend year and then my savings goals, my 2023 in pictures, my 2024 in pictures, my return to work consideration options and then this is new from the last video. I have started to research how to do no dig in my back garden so this is a little spread on that it's not quite finished yet because I need to do some more research into it but that's just something that I would put in and then at the back here we've got my Tombow page my pen test page and my ink swatches so that's nice and simple like I said there is a video on that and it's much more in depth so if you wanted to go and watch that video it has been linked and I'll put a link in the description box as well. So, let me just move that pen up way as well. Okay, so this is my 2023 diary. And this diary is one that I kind of used in a lot of places. Uh, it all kind of went a bit to pot, but that's because it was the first year of, of being a new mum. So, you're not worrying about that too much, but I will show you the notes pages because I did make a bit of an effort there. So this is my vision board for 2023. Oh, sorry, we were a little bit out of focus there, weren't we? This is my vision board for 2023. So again, I did this on Canva, I think. Printed it out on sticker paper, cut it in half and stuck it in. And then after that, I have my 2023 reading log. I did read more books than this, but not that many more. So 2023 wasn't a great reading year for me. And to be honest, this layout of this reading log didn't really work for me either. I think the one that I put in my new diary, my 2024 diary, will work a lot better for me. And it will be a lot easier for me to record on it. There's just something for me about turning the book sideways just doesn't work for me anyway. My 2023 goals page, I haven't filled this back in properly, I did not achieve that. I think I did achieve that 
um, I just need to write down the date when I did. I didn't achieve this and I did achieve this. So, and I did establish my daily journaling practice and I did start going to Makaton classes. So my goals did actually happen, but I just really like the layout of this and I've echoed this layout in my 2024 planner. 23 things to do in 2023. So you can see I've managed to do some of them. I didn't manage to do all of them, or I did do this one. So I will just cross that one off whilst we're here. And actually the ones that I didn't do, you know, they're not that important. This one, these two, I really need to get around to doing this. So we got married in 2021. My wedding dress is still very muddy. And this Jack's Mannequin poster I've had for, gosh, probably a decade now. And I really need to get it framed because it's signed and it's a lovely poster. I just don't know where to do it. And it's one of those things that is probably would take me half an hour to research and find someone to do it but both of them are just the mental load of trying to find someone to do them and then paying for it because neither of these are going to be cheap you know it just it keeps falling way to the bottom of a list but maybe maybe in 2024 I haven't done one of these for 2024 maybe I should do I'll think about that so my wish list of things that I wanted to buy in 2023 not a very big list because to be honest I don't buy a lot of things I do buy a lot of smaller things but this is kind of more for bigger things you see like an air wrap my cover for my diary this is a play mat for our little boy which we did get um, so it's all kind of bigger purchases on here and I, I didn't really want much more and being on maternity pay there wasn't really a lot of scope for a lot of money going out anyway my to be read list, uh, well, let's not, let's just skip over that one. <laughs> so again, having to turn the book sideways didn't really work for me, but this is an idea that I've seen people do in bullet journals that I thought might work quite well for me. And I, if I'm honest, I think I was probably nesting when I wrote this, which is why it didn't work. But my idea was that I would put a dot on each week of the year that I did this. So I changed the bed in week one of 2023. I will have changed it multiple times throughout the year. I just didn't come back to the spread to do it. So it didn't work for me, but it's kind of a nice way to keep track of things. And if you are someone who is able to remember to come back and do this every time you do this task, then this works really well. And I think if I was more attentive to the notes pages in my diary, I'd do this again, but it wasn't worth the hassle for me of writing all the days out. As you, as you can see, I had big visions for this and then it just petered out. So this was something that my friend suggested me do um, to help deal with some anxiety I was having around going off work and having my baby and what you do it's a technique used in some anxiety management classes but basically you write down what you're worrying about and then you write down what you can do about these things and if the answer is nothing then well why are you worrying about it and if the answer is a solution then you enact that solution i found this slightly useful again it's a little bit similar to the return to work decision that i'm trying to make in the back of my notes pages for 2024 but this is just kind of a more bullet pointed way of doing it. So it might work, it might help you, you know, it might be something that is useful for you to have a look at. Things I wanted to do on maternity leave, so I uh, am coming close to the end of my maternity leave now and I have uh, done this one, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> My 2024 events, so this is where I put kind of things that were starting to come into my diary 2024 towards the end of 2023 and this has been so useful. I need to do one of these for 2025. Obviously it's January at the moment so I don't have any 2025 events yet but I do know that I'm likely to have some 
booked in soon because I have a couple of friends who are engaged and they are looking at 2025 weddings so we'll put something like this in the back of my 2024 home nature weeks it's super simple doesn't need to be complicated I'll maybe dress it up a little bit more for 2024's diary but yeah I was trying to test out what flavour of clear protein I wanted to buy so I did a little chart of all the flavours that I bought samples of and decided which one to buy. I ended up going with apple and elderflower rather than strawberry in the end because I thought the strawberry was really nice but it was really sweet. Um, and then I did the same for some protein bars because I was looking at buying a big bulk pack of protein bars. So. And then my 2023 Christmas gift list. I do this pretty much every year. I will write down my budget and what I spent on people and what I've bought them. Really simple. This side was meant to be what I wanted people to buy me, but I never got around to actually doing it. But I did put this really cute little rub on down. Which is beautiful, I love that. And then finally, I did a little page for my YouTube stats. So you can see this is where I started. I started with 13 subs. And then in December I had 24 subs and I think I've got nearly 100 now, which is amazing. So if you haven't subscribed, please do make sure you do because growing the channel is bringing me so much joy. I'm loving doing these videos and I'm hoping that they're useful for you guys as well. And then I just put some video ideas down and that's really it. So it's really minimal. And these are some stickers that I made. I was just testing out how they go on the paper because I'm quite keen to try and make some that match the Tomoy River paper colour-wise for the outline, but I don't think I quite cracked it, but yeah. And here's my pen swatches, my ink log, uh, which I've splattered ink all over, which is great, and then my Tombow log. I love this layout. I think this is much nicer than what I've done in the 24 version, but there you go. Never mind. So that's it for 2023. 2022. 2022 was my year for the Hope Two Weeks. So I was doing spreads like this all the time. This, this. It was like amazing. This was on our honeymoon. So this was me journaling about our honeymoon. And then when I came back and I, it was just, I just used it so well. So we went on holiday there, I journaled there. Lovely, wonderful. Anyway, notes pages. <laughs> That's what we're talking about today. So for the 2022 collage, I think you can probably see, I cut these all out by hand because I didn't have any photo sticker paper at the time. So these are all cut out by hand. And the reason there's so many marathon pictures and running pictures is because I ran a marathon in 2022 which was an amazing experience. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of trying to vision what I wanted from the year. And it was the first time I'd done anything like this, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Definitely isn't the best way to do it, but as you can see, it does work if you need to do it this way. Again, a wish list. I don't know why I left this page blank. And a reading log. Didn't work at all definitely read more than this in 2022 because I went on honeymoon and I read for basically the entire week. And then this is something that I need to do again in my uh, 2024 because we're going on holiday in March. But this is a packing list. So just essential items, clothing items, entertainment items, health and beauty, and then miscellaneous. Um, and this is just so useful. So I would normally write this out a couple of weeks before we go and then a couple of days before we go I will go through this and go yep yeah, I've got that 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 done and it makes everything so much easier if you're like me you're really disorganized and you struggle with remembering what you need to pack and what you have packed this is great so as I can say I am a runner um, and in 2022 I was fully into racing I was trying to get as many races as I could but unfortunately, these two I had to cancel. Um, this was my marathon, and unfortunately I got plantar fasciitis after my marathon, and then about here I got pregnant. So I didn't do these ones. I did do the Oldenton 5K, which was really good fun. 
but this is because in 2021 I had a really good year of races so I had loads of races and I thought 2022 was going to be the same fortunately it didn't work out that way I don't know if I'm going to race much in 2024 it's difficult with a baby to fit it in but we'll see if I do I will do another one of these I was trying to get my Etsy shop up in 2022 it's I just keep saying this every year, I'm like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and then I never do. So, again, not sure why I left with paid blank. I thought maybe I'd have more to write, but there we go. This is a list of films we went to the cinema to see. So, in 2022, we treated ourselves to cinema passes. So, we got the monthly card where you can go as many times as you like, and we made as much use of it as we could. I think we saw another couple of films on the bottom of here that I haven't written down and then we cancelled our pass because there was nothing else we wanted to see but this is a really nice idea for tracking films for tv shows I personally don't like to track tv shows because I just kind of hop around a lot but this was nice because it was something we were doing together it was like date nights it was nice to remember that yeah we did this so this was with our unlimited card at Sydney World and then the last couple of pages so I tried to do what I eventually managed to do in 2022 um, and write down what my worries were about the marathon I think I did this in a bit of a tears late one night a couple of weeks before the marathon happened and I just never <laughs> managed to come up with the solutions so like you see sometimes it works like it did in the 2022 diary sometimes it doesn't work Sometimes it makes you feel worse and this is definitely one that made me feel worse because I remember getting to this point and going oh my god I'm like two weeks out and I'm really worried that I won't be quick enough. I can't do anything about that so let's just stop thinking about it. And finally my Christmas list for 2022. This again you know it's not beautifully decorated it's not aesthetic but it is functional and it did what I needed it to. And then at the back, again, we've got my Tombow marker swatch page. I hate this. It's, it's ugly. It's disgusting. Don't like it at all. And then my pen test. I wasn't really using fountain pens at this point, so I didn't have that many inks. So I didn't do any ink swatches, but there you go. So that's kind of it. As you can see, my notes pages have really evolved over the years and changed and you know you've got different styles the one thing above all though is i would say don't be afraid to put things in your notes pages you know there's always posts on kind of facebook groups or reddit or wherever you go for your know, hobonichi um, interaction so to speak about what do i put in them what should i do should i do this should i do that use them as you want to use them for lists people use them for journaling people use them for extensions of daily logs you know there's no limit it's your diary and I just want to stress to you if you're thinking oh I couldn't do that oh it's too creative oh you know these are diaries that are meant to be used you need to use them and thinking about what other people are doing yeah bounce off ideas you know take what people are using and how they're using them as inspiration but don't feel stuck because you can't create the exact same things you know you can create something in your own style that works for you and that's the best way to use your notebook so hopefully this is giving you some ideas of maybe what you could do with your notes pages and hopefully this is giving you some kind of context of how notes pages can evolve over the years how they can evolve over a whole year and how you can just add things in um, and hopefully it's been a useful video i'll be back next week with another plan with me thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do feel if, if you feel like you'd like to like and subscribe and i will see you again soon take care bye bye